Hi guys. Well, I wanted to do a quick vlog on my favorite show. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of you out there actually watch it or not, but my favorite show is The Walking Dead. Um, it has been for about a year and a half now. Um, I started watching it back in 2012 when Noah was little, when he was a baby, and I got hooked. Um, I watched seasons one through three, and I was waiting on season four to start, and I was completely hooked. Um, I want to start off by saying these are the reasons why you should watch the show. <laughs> okay. Um, why, why I got hooked to the show was because it had a really strong storyline at the beginning, and it was kind of like a soap opera. Um, the way to explain it is it's kind of, um, there was a man, he was in the hospital. Um, when he got out of the hospital, there was already the zombie apocalypse. Um, it had already happened. And by the time he came back to his house, all of his family was gone, all of his neighbors, all of his friends, and he didn't know what he was going to do. But then when he finally caught up with his wife and he finally caught up with his family, he found out that she had been with his best friend um, the entirety of this zombie apocalypse. So it was really good storyline. It kind of got you hooked in like right from the beginning. And... Um, it was just like a soap opera, you know, she found out, he didn't know exactly, but it kind of gave you the backstory that, you know, she had been sleeping with his best friend all, all the while they're running from zombies. So, <laughs> um, if you can stand some gore and blood and guts, um, along with the soap opera, um, this show would be perfect for you. Um, <laughs> the characters are, um, really in depth. And they have a lot of background to them. They're not just, you know, characters that they put on the screen just because it's a pretty face. Because, you know, a lot of the characters are not a pretty face. They look more, um, they more, look more normal. And I love the show because um, those characters drew me in. And then it also had the scary factor. Um, you know, it kind of, you know, always had you, your adrenaline pumping because you were worried that zombies were coming after them. So... Um, one, the storyline, the characters, and the scare factor are the three things that got me hooked from the beginning. And, um, if you don't mind scary movies and things like that, you would really like it. Okay, number two, um, the characters. Now, what drew me in at first was Rick and the whole storyline of him losing his family and then reuniting with his family. And then, that was really good, and watching him, you know put the pieces together that his family, you know, had moved on without him and then, you know, finding out that his wife had an affair and it was just really good. And Rick came back as like the strong husband, the sexy husband, the, you know, get down and dirty and do anything he can to save his family. And I really liked Rick at the beginning. And then they introduced, um, Shane, Shane was the other man in the relationship. He he really drew me in as well because he was kind of the villain. He was kind of the guy you didn't want to see get the family. And so that kind of drew me in as well. But as as I started to wrap up season three, um, they introduced Michonne. Uh, no, actually, yeah, season three. And Michonne is kind of like... We just now got her backstory in season five, but, um, I mean, in season four, we just got her backstory about where she came from and, um, why she's so kick-ass, but, <laughs> um, she's a black woman with dreads. I don't know if you've seen, anybody out there seen the show, just let me know, give me feedback on what you think, but, um, she basically had to go out on her own and, um was the only surviving member of her family and had to use her family as zombies that she dragged along with her. And she was really good, um, really good with the sword. So with the Katana sword. And so it's just awesome. I mean, she kicks ass and it's just like, it kind of like, it. how do I explain it? It kind of like ensues like this, drive that you think that you would have in a zombie apocalypse or any kind of apocalypse, you know, that she's the kind of character that brings out strength in yourself that you think that maybe 
if that was to happen to you, that, that you would be the one from your family that could survive and kick ass and survive throughout this whole apocalypse. Um, she's just awesome, you guys. And anyways, um, I really, really liked Michonne and she's what kept me in like the whole season three and four. And, um, I just wanted to be Michonne. I love her character. And then season four came around and a lot of my friends and a lot of people were Daryl fans. Now, he was the kind of character that he was there, but I didn't really notice him as much. It, it was kind of like, yeah, he's kick-ass. He's part of the group. Um, he helps. He's a really good hunter and um, he's a really good tracker and, you know, he helped the group in any way he could, but I didn't really find him like the whole reason why a lot of women watch shows. Like, I really didn't find him that sexy. I kind of thought, nah, man, well, whatever, you know, he's there and sorry guys, um, my camera cut off there for a second. Um, anyways, I didn't really see Daryl like a lot of people saw him. I kind of thought to myself, well, um... I'll get it. Maybe I'll get it later. I really didn't think about him too much, actually. He was just kind of a character to me that was just there. And then season four happened. And I saw it. I saw what everybody saw about Daryl. He, um, his vulnerability, um, they gave the backstory just like they did with Michonne. And, um, he was kind of like the strong, silent type, but you could see why he was so strong and where he had come from. And it was just awesome. Um, and now I'm totally, completely in love with Norman Reedus. And I love Daryl. And <laughs> this, I swear you guys, this is the only show I can think of in my entire life. And I'm maybe there's been others. I don't know. But this is the only show that I can think of when last season, in season four, when him and Beth were running out of that, out of that mortuary slash house, whatever that building was. And they were trying to get out of the building. And it's probably the only time I've ever actually sat on the edge of my seat. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like freaking out. Because I knew that something was going to happen and it better not happen to Daryl. <laughs> and I know that everybody in the United States that was watching that show at that moment was doing the same thing as me. I mean, this show is like so inspiring. And it just gives you that feeling that... If there really was an apocalypse and there was a no electricity, no television, no plumbing, no anything, like, would you survive and could you keep on the run? And then you follow these characters on that journey and you're just like, I want to be with him and I want to be on the run in the woods with Daryl. <laughs> so anyways, that's the way I can sum it up is like, now I'm totally a Norman Reedus fan and why this show has um, really inspired me and why I love it so much. Um, also, um, how awesome would it be to work on the set of that show? How awesome would it be to actually be there and to be part of it, to be an actor on that show or a zombie? Oh my gosh. It just, it just is totally awesome. I love. Okay. Well, I'm going to go you guys cause, um, <laughs> my camera keeps cutting me off or some reason I have no idea why, but that's the reason why I love this show. And um, a quick note that I want to give to my viewers out there. If anybody has Comic Con coming um, into your area, like here I live in Oklahoma City and Comic Con is coming in November to um, Tulsa. I am going and they have tickets that you can buy for $275 to actually get um, autographed pictures and autographed um, items and get to meet the cast. So um, I'll be definitely be there. Um, Norman Reedus is scheduled to be there at Comic Con in November in Tulsa. So that's one thing I wanted to let you guys know about. And um, that's it. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you my love of The Walking Dead and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh and please submit your questions and comments about this because I want a lot of feedback. I love to talk about this show and I need to talk about it more. So okay bye.